You know, what's up everybody, Feel here, welcome to another episode of TCW's Puppets. And uh, of course, uh, let's get started with today's episode with Shane the Shark with a seashore fact. If you want to know about the ocean, but you don't want to cause a commotion, then talk to me, Shane the Shark, for my seashore facts. Hello everybody, Shane the Shark here for another seashore fact. And uh, today, I got a fact to tell you. Do you know that sharks never stop moving? So, yep, no matter what, we won't stop moving. That is all. Goodbye. Okay, Shane, I think you should stop moving now. Alright, anywho, and now it's time for my Grandpa Gordon with his very short show. I may be very old and I'm not very cold, but if there's one thing you must know, it's Gordon's very short show. Yeah! Hello everybody, Gordon here for another uh, very short show, and I'm going to tell you all today about how you can come up with a New Year's resolution for 2014. Now first of all, you got to think to yourself, what did I do this year? Well, I took a lot of naps, so uh, check. Let's see, I took all my pills, check. I didn't fall off this year, check. What could be my New Year's resolution? So let's see, let's see, let's see. <gasps> I know! Near New Year's resolution could be to be older like me, so everybody could be old and not do anything. It'll be a lazy world, just like that ship in the film Wally. -E. Yeah, Happy New Year. Well, Grandpa, look, we'll just see if um people will follow your um New Year's resolution, even though the world won't work that way if everybody's lazy. I mean, somebody has to do something in the world. Well, enough of that New Year's resolution crap. Now let's go to little Jeff for a little secret of his. Ooh. He is little. He is not so dumb. And if you say Red Robin, he'll say yum. It's little Jeff's little secret. Well, well, well. Hello, everybody. This is your favorite little secret teller, little Jeff, here once again. Do you want to know what my New Year's resolution is? To get rid of Oswald once and for all. <laughs> so no little orange guy this year or any other years afterwards. <laughs> well, Oswald, here's my advice to you. Watch out. Watch out for little Jeff. He could be behind you. He could be on the sides. He could be anywhere. I mean, that wouldn't make sense about little Jeff's um, New Year's resolution because they both don't like each other. Because Oswald... No, 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 not Oswald. Little Jeff is Oswald's worst enemy and biggest fear. And now last but not least on this show, it's time for Fred the Fox with his um, soap opera, A Fox Named Fred. Like snow through the snow globe, so is the fox named Fred. Ah, Sakura, look at the snow outside. It's about as white and beautiful as your stomach and your paws and your tail and your face. You know what, there isn't that many stuff on you that's white. That's one thing we have in common. Not too much white on us. I have white ears, a white snout, well, part of a white snout, and a white belly. You know, since the only two main colors on your fur is black and white, you're sort of just like Michael Jackson in some ways. And Dunstan. <gasps> You? You? Mmm, Sakura, Sakura. Wait, why do you feel so smoother and... Oh my god, she's gone! Who took her? I gotta find out. <laughs> it seems that the smell of Sakura led me to this room. <laughs> Wait, I smell something. It smells like the word you. <gasps> Dunstan and Sakura? <laughs> Sakura, what are you doing with Dunstan? What was that? You find him more interesting than I am? But why? Because he's more of your species. But come on, dogs and foxes are related in some way, right? But... Fine. Well, fine, Sakura. If you just want to be with someone that only says one word in their life, then that's fine with me. Bye. You, 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 you. You! You! Well, there's only one other website I know out there that has pretty good dates on there. YouTube! Yep, 
the best place to find a girlfriend. Or boyfriend, if you are a girl, or something. Bleh. What was that? What's going on here at... Where's Dunstan? Sakura, what happened? Oh, Dunstan didn't find you tasteful, huh? Well, at least I find you tasty. Well, not in the eating kind of way, but in the loving-like way. Ah, oh, come on, Sakura. Let's go take you somewhere to go to eat. <laughs> ah, Dunstan, how many times do I have to tell you not to eat paper? It gets paper cuts in your mouth and makes your mouth bloody. When is Dunstan ever going to learn? Well, then. That was a lot more interesting than the last episode. Well, that's about it for this episode of TCW's Puppets with Phil. And Gordon. And Fred the Fox and my lovely wife Sakura. Mwah. And little Jeff. And Shane the Shark. See you next week, YouTube.